How you doing guys? Cindy here and welcome back to some more Panda X Gaming. And today we're gonna be doing something much more different than I were that um that well I do every day. Um today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to do some um out of brewing potion stat. There it is. Um but first of all I want to say that I'm um, sorry for not uploading. I've been very busy with tests and stuff. But um, I'll, I'm, I'm back with some more and I'm gonna start this new series of tutorials and how to do stuff because I know you guys um, don't have enough, um, how can I say it, you don't have anyone for you, well, you don't have enough tutorials for you to, well, learn stuff. So if you want me to do anything, any mechanism, something, just put in the description below what do you want me to do, any mechanism and I'll try to do it, I hope so. <laughs> so yeah guys, so here we are and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I know most of you guys play in PvP or faction servers and I don't know that one thing that's really that pisses me off, it's brewing potions for me to PvP. So here I came up with a very amazing and compact way to doing it. So as you can see, let's take a quick look at the back. So yeah, you can pause the video and check out how to build it in here. But I'm gonna tell you how this works and where the potions go. Okay. So here is very basic, I'm bringing actually some potions here and the machine is turned on, off. Okay, so all the potion um, stuff, ingredients, go here, all the water bottles go in here. And when the when the machine gets activated, all, all this dropper does is transpress all the bottles in, in here as you activate it over here. So yeah, um, let's exp I'll explain better. Let's get some nether. Okay, no, we don't need nether work. Okay, it's fine. So you, I'll, I'm just telling you where to add the stuff. So here you can add the nether work in this dropper here. Um, here's a gunpowder, and um, you can also glowstone dust. Um, so, well, let's do it this way. Primary ingredient, um, the nether work. This will be the secondary ingredient in the top area. That will be all the glistering melon, and in here, um. Now, uh, yeah, in here I'm gonna be placing the fermented spider rat, that will be the third um, ingredient. If you don't want the third ingredient, you don't need to add it. So, here adding a third ingredient, fourth ingredient, and it will start brewing up. And, well, no, this will be the, five, the fifth ingredient, so that's great. And I also, I also want to say, be, when starting the machine, you need to do some very compact stuff. You need to add 51 cobblestone or a stack maybe, because what those blocks do is make a connection that will transfer all our potions into there, creating it an illusion or maybe um, like a type of mechanism that will activate the whole machine, making it a bit more um, automatic, I think so. Yeah, so you need to add 50 blocks, or you can add less, depending. If you're in a server or a faction server, you, you cannot, you cannot, you can only add half of it. But if you're in single player, you can add, you can add a lot of it. It doesn't matter the sizes, but you need to add stack or half a stack in there. Okay, so how does this work? Um, again, um, water bottles come in here at the same time as a uh, ingredients trespass through the 3D compact uh, droppers. And as they as they come down, it will start accumulating over here, and then it will um, all the mechanism will bring the potions as um, over here to the chest. As the droppers um, bring them, that dropper brings them here, and then another round comes again. So, um, all the ingredients combine in here, um, and it it gets in here. So yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna make give a lot another look of how do you need to build it. So here's the top area, down area. So you can pause it here. Okay, so here's one part of it. Um, you need um, dropper, dropper facing to the chest. Um, dropper, dropper facing to the dropper. <laughs> it's the chest on, on, on it. A chest. Um, well, okay, let's start simple. A chest, a dropper facing for, to the chest. Then you can add a brewing stand. Then add another dropper. Then a chest on top of it, another dropper, chest up on it, chest, and another dropper. And over here, you can, okay, so here you can go to the back, and then add it, a dropper, and that's, oh god, let me turn off the rain. <laughs> okay, so no, I'm actually gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so we have 3 by 3 area. Let me get all my blocks. Okay, let's get ready. Okay, so these, these are all the blocks you need for you to do it. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so let me just cover this area very quick. Okay, so first of all, you need to add a chest in here. You add a chest, then you need to add a dropper. Oh, sorry, dropper. And then when you add the dropper in here, as you can see, then you need to add another dropper. Then you add a brewing stand. 
but the brewing, the, but the dropper needs to be facing the brewing stand, so wait, let's do that very quick. Oh god damn it. Okay, so as you can see, it's facing it now. Also, the dropper on the ground, you need to start facing it here. Okay, so this looks good enough. Okay, so now we had a chest up here. Okay, that good look. That good. That's that's very good. That's very good. Then we're gonna add a hopper up here. Sorry guys, this is my first time doing this. I, I, oh uh, god damn it. Okay. Ugh, yes. Okay. So. Oh shit. Uh. Okay. Let's do it this way. Okay. Perfect. 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 Okay. Progress. <laughs> okay. So where you want to add a block here? Oh god damn it. Okay. So I think this looks good enough. Uh, and then, what do you want to do now? You need to add a block in the back. Yeah, was it a block in the back? Yeah. You need to add a block in the back. As like so. And then you need to add the redstone comparator. Where's my redstone comparator? Okay. So you need to add it over here. But remember, it needs to be facing... Nope. Uh, okay. There we go. That looks good enough. Then you need to add blocks like so. Then you take away that. Oh, I turned it on. Oops, okay, there it goes. And then you need to add two redstone pieces in here and then place a block on top of it. Okay, that looks very good. That looks good. That looks very good. Then what you want to do now, you need to add two droppers facing each other. And here is where the items are going to be standing, you know. Uh, okay, so now let's add our cobblestones. Let's place this here. And, okay, that's good. Okay, then we're going to add a redstone cooperator over here. Okay, and then we're gonna add two, the two blocks, we're gonna place a piece of redstone, a torch in here, and it's gonna start fussing around, then we're gonna add a dropper, two droppers here, and it will start turning on the machine, let me place this very quick, and turn it on, and okay, you need to, yeah, place the um, lever there, then what else did you need it, uh, okay, yeah, I remember, okay, so now the, that you have that, you, you just need to start placing, um, Oh god. Uh, okay, you need to start placing two droppers. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I remember. So you need to start. You add um. The, you need to add some hoppers in here. Uh, let's start. One hopper that's connected to the chest one, and the other one that's connected to this one. Ah, oh, sorry. Need to shift. Ah, there we go. Nifty. Okay. So now that you have that, it's now time to for you to add the dropper. So you need to get over here. You need to get the dropper and place it right in the edge of it. Okay, there we go. And then we place a chest in front of it. Boom. Then you need to put a dropper in here, in the middle. Uh huh. Place a chest in it. Okay. And you need to add a dropper in here. Uh, boom. And then you need to put a, a hopper in it that's connected to the chest. And boom. So I think we have it. Yeah, so here it is, the machine. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Now I'm going to show you how does it work. So let us get some ingredients for us to start it. So let's get over here to the brewing area. And let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So okay, what do you want to do first? Is you want to place all your water bottles in that chest in it. As you can see, there's gonna start um, automatically going down in it and then what do you want to do here will go your primary ingredients that will be the nether wart let's get our nether wart okay wait oh, oh okay guys sorry I forgot this so you need to add a redstone torch in here okay that's good and now okay, let us pick up <laughs> it took everything oh my god Okay, so let's get all our, our water bottles, let's place them in here. And then, what do you want to do now? You need to add, okay, here goes your primary ingredient, so let's get some nether wart. Okay, here's some nether wart. You can just add it in it. And then, okay, here's your primary ingredient, secondary ingredient, let's get some... Um, what do we want to make? Let's make, yeah, instant damage, let's make glow... Um, glycerin melon. Let's get a stack of it, place a stack in it, then here you want to read um, redstone or, um, oh, oh god, you can place redstone or either glowstone in it, so I'm gonna add glowstone for add, to add more damage to the potions, um, here you can add the third ingredient, that's the, um, that will be the fermented spider-man, the fermented spider-man, wow, the fermented spider-eye, so add the fermented spider-eye in it, 
then see when you add a fermented spider eye you can now come here and you can appear the the gunpowder okay so here you have the gunpowder and boom so here we have already um it's good to go good to go but now when you want to start your machine you can just go you need to get another nether ward and you're gonna just want whatever so you can when you if you want to start brewing you just place the nether ward in it and it will all start assembling as you can see since i told you all the ingredients will come up here it start brewing up um secondary primary ingredients will start moving up to the hot drop from the hoppers over here till, till we get from to here as you can see they're all in order and it's now assembling the potions so yeah as you can see it's automatically assembling potions um it's a very compact one you can make it in your base or in your faction base whatever um but it's very very easy to do very simple very simple as you can see um it's adding more and throughout time when all the ingredients up here finish um you can just it, it automatically starts them here and if you want to turn on the, the brewing process you just need to flip the level the lever down and it will all automatically stop working so that's very good and over here as you can see it's turned on so let's turn it off and let's continue the progress all the potions got in there very quick and then it starts a new round of potions in here as you can see and it's very good very nice very nice it works pretty good in your bases and it looks very fun so let's set our time to 12 and yeah so i think that's all for me to cover just remember you need to add um blocks in there because as you can see yeah it's it's bringing them on together and so on so yep so i think that's all well thank you guys for watching this very quick tutorial of me doing an automatic potion um stand thingy i was going to do a big one but i didn't have enough time to do it because you guys were waiting for a video i might do another one later so yeah leave it in the description if you want to do if you want me to do any any um contraction or any mechanism later on so yeah this is it our two nifty looking <laughs> potions Okay, so thank you guys for watching, see me here, and I'll see you in the next episode. So, bye! Prison's coming soon. Bye!